rugged, remote, unspoilt. Yemen's stunning landscapes are what draw visitors, but it's also clear from the air how hard these areas would be to police. The beauty of isolation also provides places for dangerous extremists to hide or even train. We travelled to Marib province where seven tourists were killed on Monday with a group of Spanish reporters. The first time since the attack that foreign media have been allowed access to the site. Any reporting in Yemen requires government permission and a minder with you at all times. And as we arrived, we realized quite how dangerous officials see this area as. We had an escort of four military vehicles. At the site of Monday's deadly attack, again, very visible security. This was where the seven Spaniards and two Yemeni drivers died when a suicide bomber rammed his car packed with explosives into their convoy. Just moments before, they'd been admiring this, the ancient temple of the Queen of Sheba. This really is an amazing site to visit. You feel like you've stepped back in time. It's 3,000 years old, and all around there's still a lot of archaeological work going on. You can see why the government would want to turn this into a star attraction for the Yemeni tourist trade. But security really is an issue, and many of the drivers who are employed by the tour operators don't want to take this journey down here by car. And we were even told foreign journalists, the government didn't particularly want us taking that journey either. Hence our trip here by military helicopter. The local police chief, though, is adamant that visitors should not be put off. Tourism will continue uh, in, um, in, in Yemen, this hospitable country. And in fact, there was a group of uh, German tourists who came after the attack. And apparently today there is an, a group of Italian tourists coming here. Uh, there will be more security measures. But as twitchy soldiers raced around us as we left, forcing any suspect vehicles off the road, it was clear that this tribal area is hostile territory, even for the military. And it's hard to imagine that such high levels of security could be sustainable for tourists. Although numbers may not be high, those who come do provide valuable income and a living for many in this poor area. Clearly, suicide attacks are not just a problem here, but there are plenty of places to hide for those who plan them. Sources close to the government say several suspects have been arrested and one killed in the hunt for those behind this latest attack. But it may be some time before the beautiful sights of Yemen can once again be enjoyed by tourists without fear. Lauren Taylor, Al Jazeera, Marib, Yemen.